In this video, we want to help you decide whether you should fit a manual quick coupler on your excavator. We're going to take each of the points of why you may not want to use a quick hitch on your excavator one by one and try and put some context to each of the points. The first point is the cost. These hitches are not cheap and so for many people this can feel like it's too expensive for them. What needs to be considered is can the benefits or the time saved outweigh the initial outlay and we'll come on to some of this in a short while. The second point is you may just be using one attachment very regularly for the same task over and over again and then in this situation I would normally recommend that a quick hitch is probably not for you because the cost will not outweigh the benefit. The third point is you may well be using some attachments like a breaker or a riddle bucket where you're doing repetitive tasks that are very hard on a hitch and again in this situation I would possibly recommend that it may be better to use a direct mount this is because many manufacturers don't actually warranty a quick coupler when they're using items such as breakers and riddle buckets over and over again. The final point is a quick coupler can reduce breakout force slightly, but in many cases on mini excavators where this comes into play, the breakout force is negligible and probably doesn't actually impact the overall performance of the excavator. We're now going to take some of the key reasons why you might want to use a quick coupler on your excavator. The first question we probably need to ask is, are you changing your attachments regularly? If yes, then a quick hitch is probably the answer for you. Changing attachments over and over again can be very tiresome, can cause injuries, and can mean that the task takes significantly longer than it needs to. The reason the quick hitch helps so many people is in its name, it's quick. The number one reason is it does speed up the whole task. You can change your attachments faster and quicker than driving the pins in and out of the dipper arm, and this makes your whole job more efficient and puts profit back into your job. The second point is manual handling. It's been proven that most injuries from manual handling in the construction industry have happened when lifting items that are 25 kg or 55 pounds. Most attachments actually weigh significantly more than this. So fitting a quick coupler can reduce the risk to you and your operators. The third point is damage to pins and bushes and bucket links. It's no secret to any operator that's had to do this task that driving the pins out of the bucket will and does damage the bucket links and the pins and bushes. And it's also no surprise that this does cost nearly as much as having a manual quick coupler fitted on your excavator. So in summary, some of the reasons why you may not want to use a quick coupler are the initial outlay. You're using one attachment regularly, so you don't need to change. Thirdly, you're using an attachment that is very hard wearing on the quick coupler. And finally, you don't want to reduce breakout force. And then, some of the reasons that you may want to use a quick coupler. The fact that it makes it significantly quicker and easier to use. It reduces manual handling, which is a big cause of injury. And thirdly, it reduces damage to pins and bushes and bucket links. If this video doesn't answer all the questions that you had, then please watch the in-depth guide to the Rhinox Quick Coupler above. 